Hello everybody, this is Joe Leonard with GeoVision. Today's video will focus on the object search feature of the GeoVision VMS software. Object search is a feature that allows users to be able to more quickly and efficiently review playback footage by searching for certain parts of your video. We'll go through a couple different options for the object search, and let's jump in. First, whenever you are in the playback screen, you will want to bring in the cameras of interest that you're looking to retrieve footage for. If your cameras are not already laid out in the matrix, what you can do is go up to the toolbar and hit the content list, and you will see a content list on the far left side of the screen. Under the camera section, all of your cameras will be laid out, and you can simply drag and drop your cameras into the windows that you want them to display on. On the timeline below, you will notice that there are two bars. The top bar indicates motion events for the camera that you have clicked on. The bottom bar is basically saying that one or more cameras in your matrix have received motion events and there is footage associated. What you can do is click on the camera that you're interested in searching and the top bar will populate. Let's say that we want to search around maybe like the 1430 to 1500 hour range. What you can do is you can go in and highlight the range by right clicking, holding, and dragging, and you'll notice a blue bar appears on the timeline. When you release, you can select the object search option, and a menu comes up here. In the top left hand corner, you'll notice that there is a drop down which gives you alarm, counter, missing object, and unattended object. What you can do is select alarm and then hit setting. And this gives you the ability to draw a detection zone where let's say that you're searching for when a person or a vehicle or an object entered into that region. You can basically just click and drag to define your zone and select alarm region, hit okay. If you want to trim down the time frame, you can do it right here. And then when you have that set, you can click the object search icon. What this will do will scan through the time frame, and depending on how long you're searching, it could take a little bit longer. But what you'll notice along the bottom is the blue tick marks on the timeline. That is indicating that it is finding events where a person or a vehicle has entered into that region. And once it goes through its search, it will now start to populate uh, video clips here into the timeline. And if you click on one of the clips, you will see it start to play where that vehicle or person entered into that region. Again, this is just a more efficient way to be able to retrieve and find video associated with actual events, and you can input parameters to help you find those events. Some of the others that you can utilize are the missing object and unattended object, as well as the counter. Um, for missing object, what you can do is go in and hit setting, and you can draw a box around your object of interest. So if you want to be notified or see video of when that object was moved, um, you can do that and find the video associated with it. So you draw your box around it, hit OK, and go through the same procedures here of doing the object search. With unattended object, let's say, for example, that something was dumped in your parking lot, for example. You don't know exactly when it happened, but you know where it was dumped. You can go in and you can draw a box around the area and then hit detect region, OK, do your search, and then it will find the video clips associated with when something was dumped in that region. This has been an overview of the object search feature in the GeoVision VMS software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.